All right, we are proud to welcome to the program today Hazel Green girls basketball coach Tim Miller and outstanding player Leah Brooks. Welcome to the program. Oh, th thanks Thank for having you. us. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we've got a lot to talk about today. Coach Miller, first, I have a lot of things to congratulate you for. The list is long. Um, this record-setting 700th win of your high school coaching season. You were selected into the Alabama High School Sports Hall of Fame last year. Both are tremendous accomplishments. And then obviously we have to talk about this basketball team. But first, Coach, let's start with you. Just that long list of accomplishments. How does that feel to you as a coach? Uh, it means I've been coaching a long time and I'm old. That's what that means. Uh, I mean, because I was coaching long. I've been coaching a long time. I mean, go back to the early 90s when I started. And I mean, it, it, it's been a, it's been a career where I guess this last you know tail end of my career here has been it's been the best I've ever had because you know I got good kids and good parents you know that 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 really like what's going on. Well, the one record that we want to focus on today is that Hazel Green recently set the 87th consecutive win record over the weekend. So tell us what does that say about this particular girls basketball team you've got right now? I mean, it, it says a lot. I mean, it says a lot. It, it's a tribute to the girls in there that that understand that you know that the the previous girls have left behind. Um, we talked about this over the weekend, you know, Leah is the only one who has started in that locker room on this varsity basketball team who has started all of that streak. Uh, now, Sydney Stewart was on the team as a freshman, but she didn't start all the games, whereas Leah has started every one of those. So uh, it probably means a little bit more to her than it does everybody else. The rest of them is like, okay, well, it's business as usual. You know, we're just trying to get better on a daily basis of practice and get ready for our next game. Well, Leah, let me ask you, having started in all 87 of those games, what does this record mean to you personally? Um, it means a lot. It shows that all my hard work is paying off, and I just want to continue the record more. Well, let me ask y'all, uh, you know, obviously before you officially broke the record over the weekend, is the streak something you talked about? I know something, sometimes <laughs> these things aren't talked about, you know, when you're in the middle of them. So did, did y'all kind of know this was coming up? Uh. My assistant coaches had brought it up, you know, maybe before the season started. One in, one in, right out the other. I mean, we did not talk about it till right towards the very end, and I made the comment in the locker room, streaks are great, you know, but it doesn't mean anything because we want to win championships. You know, streaks can be broken, and and streaks can be taken from you, but a championship can't be taken from you. So we're our ultimate goal is trying to win the last game. So, no, we did not talk about that. You know, up until what Saturday, Friday, Saturday, we mentioned something Friday or Saturday because all the news reporters and TV stations, they all started coming around. So I had to address it a little bit because they're there, you know, but that's when we started talking about over the weekend. Well, I, I like that perspective about streaks can be taken away from you. Championships can't. That, that's a great perspective. But speaking of streaks, our stats people look this up. Uh, according to the NFHS list, Baskin, Louisiana is the nation's longest girls basketball winning streak with 218 wins in a row. Now that was back in between 1947 and 1953. So are your sights now set on a bigger record? <laughs> no, no, no. We're going to play Hoover tomorrow night. I mean, that game, that game could go either way, you know, and there were several games during that streak. I just look back at it like, we were fortunate to win several of those games. It just kind of fell just right for us. It just, no, I mean, no, our sights are not set on that. We're just trying to get better as a basketball team. Well, Leah, um, are you a senior this year? No, I'm a junior. You are a junior. So so you've got a, another season even after this one, but have you thought any about what you might want to do after high school as it relates to basketball? Well, I thought about um, being a marine biologist. My mom did bring up like, playing professional maybe, but I just never thought about it. I really don't want to, but I might change my mind later on, but I don't know. <laughs> Leah's committed to the University of Alabama. Very good. Well, you've got some time to figure out the rest of it, but um, what do you, but this question for both of you, what do you think that this team needs to do to go all the way and win the state championship this year? Mm -hmm. um, just keep playing how we've been playing all this time and then keep our eyes on the prize. Stay together, you know, because, you know, to win it all, you got to have things go your way. You know, we've already had some unfortunate incidents this year as far as injuries. 
and we're going through it as we speak now. I mean, and it's it's tough. It's always tough to you know to win one, let alone try to win four, five, six in a row. And it's just you have to fight through all of these things that that you have to go through. And like I said, we're going through some right now where you know kids have gotten injured since Saturday's game. You know, and so I, I, I don't. You just don't ever know. You don't ever know how it's going to turn out. So you know, it's next man up, and, and let's go play the game. Well, it seems like you've got your perspective right, and um, we wish you all the best the rest of the season. Hopefully you can win another one of those championships that can't be taken away. But before that, congrats again on the record-breaking streak that you've got running there. So thanks so much for taking the time today to be on the program. Okay, thank you so much thank for having you. us. Thank you. And we'll be right back after this on AHSAA TV Weekly. Uh,